This tutorial is, is on how to use a free web-based app called Issue. Uh, Issue allows you to publish your own ebooks for free. So I'll give you an example of one. So this is my own uh, collection of ebooks that I've produced and that I have available online. You can also embed these into websites, which is nice. So I'm just going to open one of my ebooks here. to show you what it looks like once it's once it's produced. So I'm going to click to read. And because I have a free version, I do get some advertising here on the right hand side. But when you embed this into a website, none of that shows up. What you get is simply your ebook and you flip your pages by clicking this way. Very neat. So I'm just clicking to turn the pages here. You can go back this way if you wanted to. And then if you just hover your mouse over, it'll show you a preview of what the pages are. Neat little software that I enjoy using. Um, so back to the beginning. What you're going to need to do first is set up an account. And they're free, so you'll put up all your, your information and you'll set it up. And then that will allow you to upload. So once your account is uh, is working, you can hit upload and it'll bring you to this file and then you're going to go to browse to find the files that you wish to bring in. Now I strongly recommend that uh, if you're using Word or PowerPoint, so let's say you have a document in PowerPoint, a presentation, or you can even have a Word document with several pages, I recommend that you first save this as a PDF or print as a PDF. So in order to do that, I'm in PowerPoint right now. Most programs uh, want you to go to print and then from printer choose PDF. And that will convert this PowerPoint presentation into a PDF file. Once you've done that, I recommend that that's what you use to upload. So I'm going to go through the task of doing that. So I'm simply looking for the Adobe PDF file. And then you have to fill out some basic information about your book that they are publishing for free. So take a few minutes and fill all of this out. And I'll pause the video while I do this. Now, when you're filling out the information, they have a select document type. And I've noticed over the years that the document type you select will definitely impact how people scroll through your pages. So you may want to experiment with, with some. Um, I've typically always chosen book, and you'll typically end up with the look that I showed you earlier. So I'm just going to choose book here. And then when you're done filling everything out, you just upload. Now, it may take some time for it to be completed. Uh, you can wait it out, or you can click on this, and it, they'll send you an email letting you know when it's been done, because it, it needs to convert that into a book. So there's some work to be done in the background there. So I'm just going to pause the video while it's doing that. All right, so now my book is ready. And here they're asking if I want to advertise my publication. I'm going to say no and just go to my library because I want to look at my book. So it's bringing me to my library now. And here's my new book. And I want to open it. So you'll have to click on the open, the word open. And I'm going to click on it to read once more. And this is how my book turned out. It was a great job. Now, I'm just going to hit Escape to make my window a little bit smaller. And from here, I want you to know that this is where you would go to embed 
this into a website. So you would simply get the embed code from here, and then this book would run perfectly and easily without the advertising inside a website. So those are the basics on how you can get started and upload and create your own ebooks using Istio.